called freedom, ladies and gentlemen. It is what all Americans have in common. It is the only thing that we need be concerned with in this country. Freedom with responsibility. And you don't get freedom by making more and more laws, by throwing more and more people in prison for doing nothing to anybody, by creating victimless crimes, by controlling, by saying, you can say this and you can say that, but you over there, you can't say that. You can travel and you can travel, but you can't travel. By closing off the highway and stopping every car and making people get out and rumbling through their possessions, that's not freedom. By throwing a woman who has the guts and exercises her freedom of speech to tell the president that he sucks in jail. He does suck. Who do they think they were kidding? Did they think by throwing this woman in jail that nobody would ever think ever again that the president sucks? He sucks. He's a liberal, a communist. He's destroying this country. And all of his pretending to be a conservative Republican now, after he found out that nobody was going for all of that, that communist crap he was shoving down our throats, isn't changing anything. Is it? Is it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> These people believe that Jesus Christ was a communist and that's what he taught. Though I read all of his words, I don't hear that. And I'm not telling you you have to be a Christian or anything else. You see, I really believe in freedom. I really believe in the founding principles and ideals of this nation. I believe in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. I believe so much in it, I'm willing to die for these principles and ideals. I believe you have a right to worship the God of your choice at the altar of your choice. I don't care who or what it is, as long as you do not hurt the property or person of any other human being. That's what I believe. Those of you who disagree with that, you're not Americans. And that's the truth. You certainly don't believe in the freedom of religion or freedom of speech, and that's the truth. And you don't seem to understand that when you take away the rights of someone else, to practice what you yourself covet, you have also taken it away from you. The moment someone rises to power who disagrees with you. The only way that we can protect ourselves is to protect all of us against the things that we do not want to happen to us. Whether we agree with them or not, whether we like them or not, it makes no difference. It matters little in the long run. For if I say to Joe, Joe cannot worship the religion that he wishes, the God that he wishes, at the altar that he wishes, I have also said to myself, uh-oh. You see, if Joe gets a bunch of people with him and he rises to power, Joe is going to turn around and do the same thing to me and he will justify it by the fact that I did it to him. That's the true danger of democracies, ladies and gentlemen, and that's why our founders gave us a republic. A constitutional republic that protects the rights of individuals, not the rights of the group. You better watch out when the group becomes more important than the individual, because each and every one of you, though you may belong to the group, are individuals, and if you become unpopular, are politically incorrect. Or if you utter one word that is disagreeable, you become forfeit and can be sacrificed by the group for the good of the whole. 
The only way, ladies and gentlemen, to protect the good of the whole was as our forefathers saw it, was to protect the rights of the individual. That guaranteed the health of the whole. When you put the health of the whole over the health of the rights of the individual, you have destroyed everything. You've made everything forfeit. In fact, you have created a God that doesn't even exist except in your minds or on a piece of paper. It's called government. When humanity exists, to serve government, it is the biggest, saddest irony that man is then bowing to a God that he created. <laughs> Oh, you see, in the only instance that man really can be God, in the creation of a government to protect the rights of man and to serve man, if man turns the tables on himself and makes the government his God, he has destroyed himself. In a very sick, perverse and disagreeable manner. 